With data hacks endlessly in the news these days, are you concerned about shopping online and potentially exposing your credit card info? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the free service privacy.com and their proposed solution to this problem. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tool reviews like this one. If you're anything like me, you probably do a lot of your shopping online. In addition to the convenience this often offers, thanks to price comparison tools, coupon code sites, and other tools like Ebates, online shopping can save you money in many cases. However, the one downside is that you do run a higher risk of your data being exposed should one of the online merchants you frequent experience a breach. Enter Privacy.com and their free service that allows you to create proxy card numbers for your online purchases. Personally, I first heard about Privacy.com right here on YouTube while watching The Philip DeFranco Show. Pretty much right after seeing that, I knew I needed to try out the service for myself and see what some of the pros and cons were. With that, here are 5 things to know about Privacy.com, including how it works and how it could potentially protect your money. The first things to know about Privacy.com are how you can add a funding source and create new proxy cards. As I mentioned, it's free to sign up for Privacy.com, and once you do, you can link a bank account using the Plaid API you may recognize from other personal finance apps. Once a funding source is linked, you can create custom cards that are either merchant-specific or so-called burners you'll only use once. To help you tell your different cards apart quickly, you can even select from a collection of popular brand logos to include on your card. Then, all of your current cards are displayed in your wallet section, making it easy to utilize them when you need. Some of the benefits of Privacy.com are that you can not only mask your actual credit card info, but you can also protect how much you're being charged from recurring services or free trials. By using Privacy.com's proxy card numbers, you can rest easy knowing that if an online merchant were to be hacked, your real credit card number would not be exposed. While that's the main advantage of this service, it's far from the only one. For example, if you're looking to sign up for a free trial, you can set up a Privacy.com card to ensure that you're not charged after you cancel. Similarly, you can set up per charge, monthly, or yearly limits on your privacy cards to prevent being overcharged. This way, whether it's due to fraudulence, technical error, or price hikes, you'll be alerted that something is wrong instead of your money quietly disappearing. Next, in addition to visiting the site itself, there are a few other ways you can utilize your Privacy.com cards, including their Chrome browser extension or their mobile app. Although visiting the Privacy.com site to review recent transactions, create cards, and copy card numbers is simple, the service also offers a Chrome browser extension that makes it even easier. When you install the extension and click the button in your toolbar, you'll get quick access to your Privacy.com wallet. Additionally, on some checkouts you'll notice that a Privacy.com icon will pop up, allowing you to select or create a new card and have it autofill the details. I should also mention that Privacy has a mobile app, so you can utilize your cards when shopping on any device. One of the few downsides of Privacy.com is that they currently only allow you to add funds via a bank account, meaning that you won't be able to take advantage of credit card rewards. Sadly, keeping your card info private may also mean passing up on some of the rewards your credit cards may offer. That's because funding sources can only come from bank accounts with credit cards not currently supported. Honestly, while this is understandable, it's a huge bummer for me, especially since I earn 2% on all online purchases using my Uber Visa card. C'est la vie. Finally, it's worth mentioning once again that Privacy.com is a free service, and there are even ways you can earn a $5 credit when signing up and each time you refer a friend. Just in case you didn't catch on before, Privacy.com is free to use. Even better, you can currently earn a $5 credit when referring friends to the site using your custom link, and they'll also receive a $5 credit as well. Of course, you can also feel free to use my link in the description box down below. To earn this credit, those who refer will need to sign up and make their first purchase. Then, you can spend your credit by using any of your Privacy.com cards. Furthermore, you can also unlock a month of 1% cash back on your Privacy.com transactions by referring a certain number of friends. So while this might not make up for the lack of credit card rewards, it is a nice added bonus that Privacy.com offers. Hopefully this video gives you a better idea of what Privacy.com is all about, but for more info on the service, I'll have a link to my full written review on Dire News in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.